hello now I will be talking about the actual installation of quantum espresso in this video the quantum espresso package is found on this website quantum-espresso.org and after that you can go to the download phase once this phase is loads you can check the download phase and if you want to dig further there are many menus here you can just check about read and you have to register first if you haven't already and then you can put your username or nickname and then password and then use the security code which could be different in the time of your actual download okay so this will offer you a new download page in which you are especially privileged to download the latest version of quantum espresso that is 7.2 and 7.1 but in this tutorial i am particularly covering the little older version that is 6.7 version of the quantum espresso which is found on the github page of quantum espresso the package is here github.com q e f q minus e releases okay so i will keep this link on the descriptions okay let us work on the quantum espresso 6.7 all the process what i follow here is applicable to the latest version as well okay so let's go to the assets page generally it might be not extended click on the triangle here so you will see this page and you can either right click here and the copy link address like this and go back to the terminal let me minimize this space and I will optimize the so here you have to if you have double get and then put the link okay so this might take a little while to download let's see so anyway let us wait how much it will take Anyway, later on, I will cut this. okay the now download has been completed let's see here we can see this file right here so the next step is on tar this file the command is tar minus zxbf and the actual file name let me copy paste that okay tar minus zxvf and the file that we are going to unzip this Fourier transform and lab back where the earlier covered in earlier videos I will put the link below on them so now we are extracting this quantum espresso file so extraction has been finished let me see the folder is right here okay let's go inside that folder by the cd command in the folder name itself okay now we are looking the quantum espresso folder and the good news is we have a configure script we don't need to copy the template of installation so we can run this script and it will automatically detect our hardware and software environment in the system okay so let me run that dot slash 
configure and in general it will be suffice to work but uh, if you want to install this package in a serial version that is the main focus of today's video so you have to disable parallel explicitly typing disable parallel and I would also suggest to disable OpenMP since uh, it is a laptop installed in a laptop so disable OpenMP as well disable so these two flags are highly recommended when you install your quantum espresso in a personal computer okay if you install in supercomputing environment then these two can be enabled and the last one is the path where you want to save your executable files that is called prefix prefix sorry pi prefix and uh, in order to do the prefix then you have to write the path explicitly you can write usr local b okay so this is how generally typically we do but later on at the time of installation this path is a system path and you need to have your root privilege okay so otherwise we can't write the files here as a normal user in that case if you do not have root privilege on your machine then you can do some other locations where you want to install for now i am not doing anything actually i am not issuing make install instead i am writing a path of binary folder bin folder which is inside the same quantum espresso folder okay i will add that path in a location in the define that in a bus rc file as a so that it will be automatically recognize the path of quantum espresso at the time of login okay so let me configure this and in some cases you might need a JIT installed in your system okay because it will pull certain packages from the other location and they will be kept inside the archive folder right here so anyway let's do this configuration first with uh, two flags one is disable parallel another is disable open mp it might take a little while yeah done so the main important is this part it recognize the blast library that we installed in earlier video it recognize the location of lapac library and these are the way to call text to call lapac library and this is the location that i just covered in earlier video and this is the fourier transform and it also recognized fourier transform is installed in this machine okay and there are a couple of checkings going on here so we can you can read uh, such as fortran 90 is defined as g fortran and since our compilation is serial so mpi f90 is also g fortran okay and similarly other follows okay but i will not be covering that part so after this we will see there is a make file has been created and uh, this also created later on make that inc file and first Im important part of the quantum espresso is pw calculations which is the folder here plane wave calculations so it is i will show you how to first let me show you the make file what is what are there the, just type make it will not do anything only it will show you the options that are need to follow after the make the first is pw okay and phonon and this is the hubbard parameter calculation noise elastic band ballistic conductance post processing 
and when you type make space pw all then all these will be compiled and car pair in allo methods time dependent dft and there are many others and there are others as well like third party packages it is called so gi power nmr and epr spectra one year 90 quantum transport with one year functions yambo it is for the optical property and and GW methods this is general third order code and thermal transport codes and there are other things okay so in here that means only make will not work but it will give you the options that are must be written after the make okay so for now I will compile the PW part using two cores so I will put J2 let's see what happened there is no error on the PW compilation so let me go inside the bin folder right here and see what is the content so that means I can see pw.x which is the main executable file for the PW calculations and others are some accessory for file I will be covering in later versions of the videos so we are able to compile PW with this we can compile mostly other packages as well so let us type make PW all okay and you can go slowly one by one first compile PW if there is no error then PW all then you can compile if you want to do many other types of calculations using quantum espresso then you can type pw sorry just all make all and so how many course you want to compile engage in the compilation that is the so do not include more than two if you are using laptop otherwise it could hang and other programs will not be responsive that much but uh, okay let's see pw all first With the same too but i will not upload all the videos to take your precious time i'll just show you the output whether it will success or not so in the meantime you can go and have a cup of tea or coffee or just stretch your leg and hands you may stand up from your chair during this and enjoy your outside walk for a while i see the compilation has been finished so far and uh, let me see the bin folder again so this time we can see many executable files including phonon calculations which is one of the most used here and then epsilon epa dos.x possibly bands.x is here and average.x and there are many actually plot band plot pros plot row post processing Q2R is the executable to convert reciprocal space into real space while doing while after the phonon calculation and there is a converter PW to one year converter PW to GW converter there are many packages we can see and one year Hamiltonian also here and one year plot is here and uh, Maddine and Dynamite can be seen. Okay, so there are many things. Dynamite is here, and lambda dot x is here. K point is for particularly estimate of the k points in different crystal types. So typically, this is what we need. And if you want to more packages to be compiled, then you can type make all and j2 okay and after this i will remain quiet for a while 
but I will cut that section of the video and I will show you the final result if there is no error let's see oh sorry I have to go back to the original folder out of the bin now I am outside the bin folder so here I can issue the make all command with minus and say 2 and it might take little more time than this as well because it will compile many packages remaining after the pw all let's see i think the compilation has been finished for the all let's go to bin folder again and see the executable files so we have more executables so typically this is it the next is you can type pwd just to know the location of your files so your quantum espresso binary files are here in this location the pw refers to present working directory and the output will be the actual location the absolute path of your location of these files okay so you can copy this and you can type cd and go back to your home folder now i am my home folder and here dot bashrc you can do this and possibly i might have already added this in the bash rc if not then i can add but i will show you how or where to add this yeah okay i think i have already added this path right here okay but the path is slightly different so let me show you how it is done first remove this path okay and then paste the present path so that's it path path this is the capital letter always and is equal to and there shouldn't be any additional space inside the double quote type the actual path and then colon is here and then dollar path if you forgot this dollar path then all previous path will be seized by this command so you have to be very careful while you type something in your bash rc file okay so this is it and once you are done this and source your bash rc file source bash rc yeah you are done and just to check whether you have correctly updated your bash rc type a which command w h i c h which pw dot x if it gives you the path then you are done let me check for phonon as well ps dot x just in case so both are available on the path so this is how we install quantum espresso and we update our bash rc file so that it will be visible system wide okay and i thank you very much for your attention and i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, next part will be how to use quantum espresso for simple pw calculations part i will be covering and uh, there are many uh, examples I have already made in my GitHub repo. Let me take you there just for a while. GitHub.com slash RP Adhikari. So here you can check my repository and you can go either Himachal nanomaterials modeling works up in 2012 or hit the repositories and there is a Biratnagar silicon calculations is also here and uh, so you can follow one of them and there is materials project calculation was also there which is 
conducted in 2021 so you can grab the latest one you can take this one and uh, I hope I will be covering this in next phase of the calculations so these calculations are mostly constructed to conduct the calculation in supercomputing environment mm, but I will show you how these calculations can be done in personal computers as well and uh, I will also discuss next video as a parallel compilation what to do the most importantly for parallel compilation you have to use some MPI library such as open MPI, MPI CS those libraries can be installed and uh, I will cover that in our next part and I hope you will be enjoying this video again and thank you very much for your attention and uh, I wish you all quantum computing quantum DFT calculation calculating thanks